Hello there. This is Dave Motohead again, and I'm out here at the ranch, and the sun's finally shining, and it's a beautiful day. The snow's starting to melt, and we're going to do a little bit of work in the shop today with me and my son and Jake. So, hope you guys enjoy this video, however stupid it might be. First of all, here we are at the ranch, and we've got beautiful snow-covered mountains, old Jeep. Anyway, let's go inside and see what's going on in the shop there. It does get cold up in these mountains in California, even though you might not think it would. There's certainly no girls with bikinis. There's a big old icicle hanging there. But yeah, it would be nicer if there was waves crashing. But there isn't, and it's cold. Get in the old shop here. Let's see what we got going on. Here's my son's dirt bike. I'm an old motocrosser, and we got dirt bikes everywhere. I'm getting ready to rebuild the carbs. 140. Let's go over here and see what Jake's doing. Hey, Jake. Say hi, Jake. Uh, There's Jake, everybody. What we're doing is we're cleaning up this uh, 140 motor here, and we're gonna pull the distributor and put a oil pressure gauge on it and crank it up and give it some oil pressure. I know guys have been talking about that on the forum, so we're gonna spin the motor over and get some oil pressure in there today before we try firing it up. And in here got my son he's welding some stuff up hey Matt lift your face up say hi Matt hi Matt that's my son everybody he's <laughs> going into the Navy in what March April April but uh, he's welding up another engine stand for me here's the one we just built and uh, it takes a little bit of time you got to jig everything up to to do it but anyways he's a he's a big help for me Gonna miss him when he goes into the Navy. Anyways, uh, we're gonna pull the distributor and put oil pressure gauge on this thing and see what happens. All right, so just hold on. Welcome back. Glad you could join me. Well, we got our little Corvair motor all ready to prime up with the oil, and I uh, wanted to show you guys how we do that. A lot of guys have been talking about it, so come this way. What we're working on is we've got Desert Fine number two motor that we're going to prime up. I want to get oil flowing through it before I try to spin it over, because it's been sitting for 25 years out in the desert. And uh, once we get it all uh, primed up and get oil pressure into it, we're going to uh, put the starter on a battery and crank it over and check the compression to see if uh, it's a good motor and we can run it or if we need to take it apart and fix it. Come on over. And the first thing that I use is I've got a my little cordless drill hooked onto a distributor that I've taken the gear off. Here's the distributor that came out of the car. You can see it's got the gear on it. And that little notch in the bottom fits in the slot in the oil uh, the oil pump. So what you do, come over here, Jake. You just stick this bad rod down in there, in your distributor hole, and you find the slot. Now usually I take the, uh, take the drill off there. Makes it a little easier. And you stick her down in there. You spin it around. Of course, it's going to be difficult now. There we go. Okay, we got it in there. We got it in the slot, so we're hooked onto the oil pump. And then we take our little drill and we close it up and stick it on the shaft. I like using the old distributors rather than a screwdriver because that way it puts it in there. You don't have to try to hold it and guide or have it slip off and maybe nick the the oil pump housing or something, you know, it just avoids a little disaster if, you know, you use the housing like this. Come over here, Jake. What we've got is we've got 
our wrench on the crank pulley and we've got the uh, oil cinder unit pulled out and we've got our little oil pressure gauge hooked on there. I always go over there because it's a good place for oil pressure. And uh, if anybody ever wondered, here's what the socket looks like for the uh, oil pressure cinder gauge. Everybody's always been wondering about that. So what you want to do is once you got this thing all hooked up like this, you want to spin it uh, clockwise. The motor spins counterclockwise, the distributor spins clockwise. And all you got to do is just start spinning this thing real slowly. Come over here, Jake. And you just spin it up here and you can see we're already making oil pressure there. So we got a little oil pressure and then back up some, Jake. Then you want to turn the motor just a little bit. By hand, this motor's free dried up. This is the first time I've turned this motor. So it seems to be spinning pretty decent already. We've maintained an oil pressure already and uh, that motor is getting primed. So when we start, and you see I've marked the distributor or the uh, wheel where it was at. So now I've made a full rotation and it seems to be uh, turning over good. And what we've done here, and you see we still have oil pressure. You can see the gauge move. Give it a little gas and there you go. And when I spin this, the oil pressure will drop. And so it's, it's dropping in there. You see when I'm spinning the motor. And then when I spin the oil pump, we got oil pressure. So I would say that, that since we're maintaining oil pressure, that uh, all the valves and rocker arms and everything are getting juiced by now. And uh, what we've done is we took all the spark plugs out of this thing about a month ago and I put marble mystery oil in all the cylinders in case there was any rust or anything in there. It'll, you know, break up on the rings and in the cylinders. And the only reason I use marble mystery oil is because that's what I had sitting around out here in the shop. I didn't want to drive town buy anything else. So anyway, that's pretty much how you, uh, prime your engine to get oil pressure before you want to start a new motor you want to do this or if you have one that's been sitting out in the uh, desert for 30 years like this one has you know before you go cranking it over or anything you want to get everything lubed up and uh, now that we've got oil pressure what we're going to do next is we're going to hook the starter up to the battery and we're going to crank this thing over and blow all the marble mystery oil out of the spark plug holes and then do a compression check on it to see what kind of compression this old motor has and hopefully it's uh, got good compression like the Desert Find number one car did and hopefully this thing will start up and run good. So anyway, that's how you uh, prime a motor. I'm Dave Motorhead and thanks for watching.